Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make an adjustment or modification to Canon printer's settings in regards to the ink. So if you wanted to print out in only black and white slash grayscale, or you want to do color only, or all the colors, including black and white, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make that modification. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and you want to type in control panel. Best match, you'll come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by up in the top right, the category view, and then select hardware and sound from this list. Underneath devices and printers, select advanced printer setup. And now select your Canon printer from this list and then select printing preferences. And now that we're on this page here, you want to go ahead and underneath additional features, if you currently have grayscale printing enabled, that'll be black and white. You otherwise can turn that off by unchecking that option in there. You also can go under more settings here by going underneath main, and you can select by either enabling grayscale printing, that'll turn it on or off. Again, just another area for the same setting in there. And that's pretty much it, guys. And basically you just turn it on or off depending on your preference. I don't believe there's an option to have color printing enabled with black and white printing turned off. And regardless, you wouldn't want to do that anyway, even if there was an option, because in that case, all the colors combined would become black. And generally speaking, it will be more expensive to replace all these individual colors, so the cyan, magenta, yellow, as opposed to just straight up black ink. So you just want to keep that in mind. So uh, that's probably why most printers don't even have that option in there. If you don't see any options underneath the setup, then you probably aren't going to have an option to actually print any other customizable way that isn't listed here. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.